Hey everyone, it's Eric. Hi, I'm Joey Heatherton. It's finally the weekend, Saturday. I'm so happy the weekend is here. We have a lot to talk about today, you guys. I have a multi-day haul here. And just so much to talk about. So grab a beverage. Uh, this is gonna take a bit. I actually have a cup of tea steeping here. I'm having the um, Celestial Seasonings, the Bengal Spice tonight. So I'm having that for a nice kind of cozy cup of tea. And we have just so much to talk about. So the first order I'm gonna talk about was when we had that uh, $10 single wick candle sale that they were just doing what was it last weekend or just recently so i did put an order in and picked up um, three single wick candles for ten dollars i also picked up this um wallflower with a rewards because it was getting ready to expire and this has just got little stars and crescent moons on it, it looks nice lit up it's not super bright so i thought this would look nice in the bathroom at some point i'll you know, use that. So I picked that one up originally $14.95. So of course our rewards, app rewards work for that. I also got this um, Santa Claus for $8.62. This was originally $34.50. So this was part of now the winter sale and very bright. <laughs> And I kind of suspected it would be just because these lights up here look like they'll be really bright. And they are, so it's super bright. But for $8.62, I was willing to um, deal with that. <laughs> so I picked that up as well. The candles I got, uh, honestly, I only bought the three because the single wick candles for me don't perform very well. It seems like they either um, tunnel in the wax or they just aren't very fragrant. So I tend to just get three wick candles but i did pick up two of these tea tree and fresh mint and they actually have the scent notes listed on the bottom of these it's bright spearmint tea tree and rosemary and i do smell that mint and tea tree i don't really pick up the rosemary necessarily but i figured this scent would be strong enough maybe that in a single wick it might work so i did um picked up two of those and then I also picked up a fresh cut lilacs. Uh, you know, I've said it before, I'm not a big fan of florals, but I do like the smell of natural lilacs. You know, when you cut them off the bush and bring them to the house in spring, I love the smell of lilacs, but usually the candles tend to be a little strong. Bath and Body Works does a nice uh, job with their lilac. It, it is strong in the three wick. So I thought, let's try a single wick because maybe the scent would just be strong enough in a single wick for me that I could handle it. So it's the Lilac Bouquets, Dewy Greens, and Soft Spring Air. It smells really good. It smells just like lilacs. So yeah, I really like how their lilac fragrance is for their fresh cut lilac. So it, that picked up those three single wick candles so that was the first order i put in now if you follow this channel at all or you saw the haul from last weekend i was in the store saturday and sunday sunday i had purchased this uh last sunday this uh three heart single wick uh candle holder these run at 29.95 so that was on sunday i'd hauled that uh in a previous video well of course Monday, Martin Luther King Day, they announced 20% off everything. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'm going to go into the store, of course. But I also wanted to get a price adjustment on the things I purchased Sunday. I figured, well, if they, for some reason, don't let me do it, I'll just, you know, repurchase the items there because, I mean, they would still have them all in stock. They ended up, you know, just doing the price adjustment, which was great. So it saved me some money, like, I want to say it was like $15 or so. So I was able to basically buy another candle uh, for like a dollar and some change. So I did pick up a blueberry marshmallow bar. It's the most marvelous blueberry I've ever tasted. Holy Toledo. Now, uh, I know this has been out for a while, but I finally was able to get a hold of this. Uh, my store didn't have it for the longest time. And then even when I picked this one up in my store, they only had like five or six of them. 
And so yeah, I know it's been out for a long time and it's the sugar blueberry sweet vanilla and toasted marshmallows. And smells, you get that toasty marshmallow smell and the blueberries. It smells nice. I mean, it doesn't smell super strong. Uh, nothing to really write home about, but uh, I just want, wanted to get one. I love marshmallow, so anytime they put marshmallow in something, I'm usually going to be on board with it. I love this jar style, though, with just the, the drawing of the blueberries with just little splashes of color on it. I really want to get the whole collection, actually, with the... Um, What's in it? Uh, Endless Weekends in this collection, and Champagne Toast, and I think a Fresh Cut Lilacs is in this collection as well. So I do want to get actually the whole collection eventually. So I did pick that up finally, and so like I said, I think I got that for like a dollar and some change. The funny thing that I noticed at my store though was Sunday when I was there, they had tons of Valentine stuff out. And then Monday when I went in to do the price exchange and to see what I wanted to pick up, I was going to pick up some more Valentine's items. There was not a single Valentine item on the floor. Not a Valentine candle. The um, These three-wick heart pedestals were all gone. Every single thing that was Valentine was gone. The wallflowers, all of it. <laughs> what? I don't know, like... I, I, I was like, did they really sell everything out in the matter of like less than 24 hours or did they pull it all off the floor? I just thought oh, the whole thing was a little odd. Even though online you could get it all for 20% off online, I just thought it was odd that like the, um, what, the champagne cupcake and the uh, bubbly rosé, the Valentine's candles, there, were, there weren't any of them. There were, wasn't anything. So I just thought it was odd that all of a sudden... It was all there Sunday afternoon, and then come Monday afternoon, it's all gone. Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below if your store, if you noticed that too. Maybe if you were, had been in there on Monday, did you see any of the Valentine's items at your store? But I thought it was a little odd that every single Valentine item was off the floor. Maybe they sold it all out. I just, maybe. Uh, I kind of doubt that, but okay. Moving on. Uh, so I did put put in an order. I had several um, of those rewards that were going to expire within a week. So I did buy some more wallflowers. I just thought, you know, why not? So I picked up uh, this, I guess it kind of looks like sea glass with bubbles. But the bubbles are like little pearls and jewels. It kind of looks like a green sea glass. Uh, this runs at $14.95. It's a nightlight. And it kind of reminds me, like it should go with that um, whole mermaid uh Thing they had going on last summer with the water globe and all that like this would match up real well with that but I love sea glass so I just picked this up and then that so that was free and I also picked up this Sun the sunshine one little Sun there and this looks so cute lit up it kind of glows it, it's not like overly bright and I love that I love how it just kind of glows so this one's just I think is really nice actually lit up. So this one's been growing on me. When I first saw it, I was like, meh. But now that I've seen it lit up, I really like it. It's $14.95, and again, I used a reward on this one as well. And then the last one I picked up was, I'm glad I picked this up online because it wasn't in my store, was the um, hearts with the envelope. And this also looks really nice lit up. You can really, uh, when it's lit up, you can really see the pink and red hearts. So I like that. And this is also this is uh, sixteen ninety five. So with the new reward increase, of course, you can um, get that as well. <gasps> Hurrah! Yeah! I also picked up since I was doing all this Valentine stuff the uh, matching car holder. This is a dual um, car fragrance holder. So it has your visor clip and then your. Um, if you want to put it in the vent clip so it has dual How clever. Well, I think they're pretty much going to that style now for all of them but I picked up that this originally was $10.95 I might have used a reward on that I know that's not the best deal to use a reward on but like I said I like five four or five getting ready to expire so yeah but I better get them used up I also got the three wick candle sleeve with the hearts this is running at $14.95. I know I used the rewards on this, so this was free as well. Got these glittery pink and red hearts. Um, 
the glitter comes off a little, not too bad, but there is a little glitter coming off. But, you know, I just really like that. I thought that's just classic Valentine's, you know? So I picked that up as well. And then I, of course, had to get the matching soap holder, the foaming matching soap holder. This is also $14.95. So that'll be going in the guest bathroom. Picked that up. The rest are candles, you guys. Let me try my tea. See if it's cooled down enough. Mm, I love this one. I love that Bengal spice tea. All right, so in the candles, again, this has been out for a while, and I finally was able to get a hold of it. This just goes to show how we really haven't had any good candle sales. It's hard to buy these candles at these prices, so even $10 off, that's not really cutting it for me. And so the extra 20% off kind of helped. Uh, so I picked up this indigo paradise been really wanting to get a hold of this one and this is exotic citrus sugarcane and black currant i really oh i like this i love you can smell that black currant it's real kind of juicy smelling and the sugarcane mmm so good so good honestly you guys uh when i was smelling this earlier if you're a fan of that cranberry orange seltzer that we have this past fall, you'll like the Indigo Paradise. They're not the same. They're not like dupes or anything. But there are some similarities between the two. They both have that kind of real sugary smell. Uh, but, um, yeah, I noticed that this morning, and I had to go get it out, my um, cranberry orange seltzer, and kind of compare it. And, like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of similarities between those two candles. So if you liked that one, you probably will like the Indigo Paradise. So I got that, and the next one I picked up was the White Lavender and Eucalyptus. I believe this is an online exclusive, but I really do like this scent. It's just so fresh and springy, and I love the jar styles that they did for these, and of course they have the um, springy kind of lid, that brushed brass. I'm glad the lid matches the rest of the uh, collection, because this past fall we did they had something like that where... They had a big collection and a few online exclusives, the, the lids didn't match. So I like it when they keep stuff matched for each collection. But this is Crisp Eucalyptus, Sweet Spearmint Leaves, and Soft Lavender. It's just such a nice, clean, um, fresh scent. It kind of reminds me of like Zest Soap. <laughs> Remember Zest? I think they still make Zest. I don't know. Zest Bar Soap. And they had those commercials like um, Zest Fully Clean. Zest Fully, Zest Fully, Zest Fully Clean. Yeah, you're not fully clean until you're Zest Fully Clean. Remember that? <laughs> of those commercials, but yeah. You're not fully clean unless you're Zest Fully Clean. Kind of reminds me of that. But yeah, you get the eucalyptus in there, a little lavender. Just most real fresh, clean, light. So I like that. I love this jar style. Love that color on that. So picked that up. I also got the um, pink lilac and vanilla. Now this one, I've always been able to enjoy. The vanilla kind of cuts down that lilac because essentially all pink lilac and vanilla is is the um, fresh cut lilacs, really. That's basically what it is with some vanilla added in. So your set notes are fresh lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and vanilla blossom. So very similar to your... Um, Fresh cut lilacs, it's very similar as far as the scent notes go. Just the um, basically addition of the vanilla blossom in this. So yeah, you get the, van the um, lilac, but with that vanilla in there, it does cut that lilac scent down a bit. So I do enjoy this one. And I love this jar style. You know, this to me, I think would look really good in like maybe... Um, like a Mother's Day kind of basket or bag for, for Mother's Day. I just really, to me, looks like something you would maybe give to mom or, you know, I don't know. But it just looks real pretty. So really like this as well. Okay, three more candles to talk about, you guys. So three more candles to go. So I also picked up the Sailing in the Mediterranean, part of that, um, I guess, like travel collection they have going on. <laughs> And 
and your scent notes are the Ocean Sea Spray, Aloe Vera Nectar, and Driftwood. This is the same as your uh, sea salt and sails that we had last year. So this is just a dupe of that. What? But I liked that uh, fragrance last year. And it's just kind of a fresh, kind of cologne scent to me. A little bit of ocean spray, that oceany kind of fragrance they do with these fresh ocean candles. But I do like it. So glad I picked up that as well. And the last two I'm pretty excited about. So uh, I picked up the Weekend in Rome. Came in this pink, uh, pink jar style there. And it's bubbly champagne, juicy peach, hint of vanilla. And you do get the peach in this one, you guys. You get the peach. It's kind of like, um, yeah, champagne peach. Kind of like as if they had done a mimosa, but instead of orange juice, used peach nectar. I like it, though. I don't have too many peach-fragranced candles, so I'm kind of excited to actually have this in my collection. It smells good. It smells kind of fruity, summery, so yeah, happy to have that. I think that's going to have a nice throw on it, you guys. It smells like that could be a good thrower. And then the last one, really excited about this. So I picked up the Sea Salt and Neroli, and I've been wanting to get a hold of this. And again, it's got this like almost like a chalk feel to the paint, and it just, it gets nicked and smudges really easily, just so be aware of that if you're looking for one in the store. The, like even this one came right you know, out of the box and has some um, smudging. You know, just kind of like to point stuff like that out to you. So this is the Salted Neroli Blossoms, Watery Eucalyptus, and Fresh Lemon Zest. I like this. It's It has a fresh smell to it. You get the eucalyptus, but... It, it's kind of like watered down, so maybe that's why they say it's watery eucalyptus, but it is like a watered down eucalyptus. It's not as heavy or strong as eucalyptus can be in candles. Definitely get the citrus, like a zesty zestiness to it. And there is like a little floral to it, but it's very, very light on the floral, so I'm uh, excited to try this one, you guys. And honestly, I wasn't quite sure what neroli blossoms were, I had to look that up, you guys. I'll be honest. I was like, I don't know what a neroli blossom is. So I want to tell everybody this because I like to, sometimes I like to read little stories <laughs> in some of my videos. The neroli, also known as bitter orange, is perhaps the most important citrus material in perfumery. Didn't know that. Bitter orange is cultivated primarily in the Mediterranean. And let's see here. At the end of the 17th century, Marie Anne de la Tremoille. Uh, Princess of Norola added the essence of bitter orange to her bath and perfumed her gloves with it. Uh, the fragrance named after the princess became fashionable among the European nobility. So a little, a little um, history there on Neroli Blossom. So I just thought I'd add that in there because I just thought that was a little interesting about it. So, and it does sound nicer to say sea salt and neroli instead of sea salt and bitter orange. <laughs> so it sounds fancier, doesn't it? <laughs> so anyways, I'm very excited to try this candle, you guys. All right, well, that is the haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe you had a beverage too. Uh, please leave comments down below if you have any of these items and what you think of them. And as always, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.